In the Classes tab, you'll see a list of classes for the selected term on the right and empty fields used to create or edit classes on the left. To create a new class, begin by filling out the fields on the left side of the page. The class title is how the class is referenced within Gradelink and on transcripts. Typically, you'll include the subject and grade level in your class title. The report title is displayed on report cards, progress reports, and in the student parent interface. Leave the grade level off unless you need it to appear next to each subject on the report card. In the teacher field, select a teacher from the list on the right. If there is a team teacher or a teacher's aide you'd like to grant access to the grade sheet, use the secondary teachers menu below. If your school uses periods to divide the day, you can designate this with the period menu. If you prefer classes to be listed in a specific order, use the report order menu. When two or more classes share the same report order value, they will additionally be sorted alphabetically. The term will default to the first active term, but if you're preparing for an upcoming term, select it from the list on the right. If you assign credits to your classes that contribute to the GPA, you can set them here. The default credit value is 5, although this can be changed in the Settings tab. The hidden box will prevent a class from appearing on report cards, progress reports, or in the student parent interface. Furthermore, grades entered for hidden classes won't be saved to the transcript or permanent records. The Ignore filter box forces the class to appear on a student's transcript regardless of other parameters set. For example, you would use the ignore filter if a high school student needed a middle school class to show on their transcript. By default, these settings will not be visible. If your school would like to use them, please contact support to have them enabled. The location field is optional and allows you to specify a room number or other location that will appear on each student's schedule. The default class type is standard, which will build a grade sheet and allow teachers to create and grade assignments. We'll go over some of the other class types later in the video. The grade scale is set by default to standard, which is the A through F scale. Select from available scales using the drop-down menu. If your school uses alternative marks such as O, G, S, and N, these can be configured using the Manage Grade Scales page by hitting the gear icon. If your report card needs to show not only overall grades, but also assessments related to a subject, these can be set up in Gradelink using subgrades. Hit the gear icon to manage your available subgrades, and then choose your set from the drop-down menu. Configuring grade scales and subgrades will be covered in separate videos. The graduation category menu allows you to count a class towards graduation requirements. The required categories can be edited by hitting the gear icon. Finally, hit Add to finish creating your class. Let's look at some additional class types. Schools that take attendance on a daily basis will need to create attendance classes. Instead of grade books, this will provide teachers with tables for tracking attendance using custom values specified in the Settings tab. If your school takes attendance in every class period, then this step is not necessary. Instead, enable Use Class Attendance in your settings, which will activate the Attendance tab for teachers. Another type of class you may want to create is the Term Comments class. If your school prints narrative-style teacher comments on the report card, simply choose Term Comments when creating a new class. When selecting the Comments class, Teachers will see a page with text fields for each student, as well as current grades and attendance to help make accurate comments. If you have a unique class type you'd like to implement, you can do so by clicking on the gear icon next to the class type field. Selecting a class from the list on the right will populate the fields on the left with that class's information. Editing the class is as simple as changing those values and hitting save. By default, classes that contain grades, attendance, or other data cannot be deleted, 
although there is an override available to administrators in the Settings tab. If you happen to run into issues with report cards after the first term of the year, it's possible some settings were modified between terms. To find out, try using the Analyze Classes feature. This tool lets you compare multiple academic terms against each other, tracking which classes only appear in certain terms, and any differences like class titles or subgrade changes. Another neat tool is the Duplicate button. If you have multiple classes that share many of the same settings, it's easier and faster to simply duplicate a class than manually enter each class by hand.